This video is intended to give you a breakdown of the carburetor and its components and some things to look for. For a complete in-depth step-by-step process on how to adjust and balance your carburetors, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. The Unison Synchronizer is a very useful tool for balancing your carburetors. Make sure that it completely covers the top of your carburetor or the velocity stack when taking measurements. Once you have the synchronizer set for a particular cylinder, don't change the diaphragm setting until you are finished checking all of the other cylinders. Also, avoid looking directly down the stacks of a carburetor while the car is running. If a backfire occurs, it can come up the stack and hit you in the face. It's also very important to make sure that your linkage is properly adjusted. The small drop links, indicated by the yellow arrow, that are connected to the throttle and control the butterfly valves need to be appropriately adjusted. Make sure that they are opening the valves at the same time. The white arrow shows the idle adjustment screws that are located on the end of each carburetor. This image indicates the adjustment points for the Weber carburetor. The white arrows indicate the idle adjustment screws. The green arrows point to the idle mixture adjustment screws. The yellow arrows indicate the air correction screws. The location of the idle jets by the blue arrows, this area must be kept clean. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.